Hi, my name is Kevin Housel, and I'm a hydrologic technician with the USGS office in Middleton, Wisconsin. I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about high water marks using SWAMI. For this screencast, we will briefly explain how to enter information for high water marks. The high water marks task is accessed through the site visit task screen. From the site visit task screen, we will begin by clicking on the high water marks button. Start by clicking on the New button. The first field is the approximate date of when the mark occurred. If you have some prior knowledge when the peak occurred, click on the calculator in the empty field to estimate the date. A calendar will pop up allowing you to select the estimated date. If you do not know the estimated date, leave this field blank and populate it back in the office when the date is known. Next, enter the stage and the accuracy of your reading. Include a detailed description of the mark, including any field tag or label it has been given, the approximate location in relation to the gauging station, what type of mark it is, and the quality of the mark. Optional comments can be entered in the comment field below. An example of an appropriate comment would be the method used to determine the mark elevation for example, if the mark was measured from a reference point on a bridge abutment, you would note the reference point was used, the reference point elevation, and the distance up or down from that reference point. Here, you can see a hand laser with a hand level was used against the staff to determine the elevation. Once you have completed the inspection, click on the Done button. For additional high water marks, click on the New button again and repeat, making sure you include the stage, your accuracy reading, the description of your mark, and any other additional comments used as seen here. Here a debris line was found on the left bank, 15 feet landward from the gauge house. You need to make sure you measure to the top of the debris line on the ground, and here a hand level was used in conjunction with a hand laser against the staff rod again to determine the elevation. Here you can see a very good mud line was determined on the staff at 12.50 feet. It was a very clean with the accuracy of 0 0.02. Sometimes during the winter ice can freeze on the wing wall giving you a very solid line of ice on the wing wall. Here it is just downstream of the staff. It was labeled LU2. And make sure when determining the elevation that you measure to the bottom of the ice line. It's always a good idea to take pictures of your high water marks while in the field. Once you have completed your inspections, simply click on the Done button. Once you have returned to the office and determined the estimated date, you can add the estimated date for each of these high water marks by simply right clicking on the description and going to edit. Click on the calculator and select the date. Here is the date selected. Click done and done again and your estimated date will be populated. Continue this for all your reference marks or your high water marks. This concludes our demonstration of the high water mark inspection. If you have any questions documenting high water marks in SWAMI, please contact the SWAMI Help Group at the email shown or visit the FCIS webpage at the address shown.